Good morning. Today we have another Ask Me Anything with Mrs. Spock. We have quite a few questions, so I think we should just get right into it. Let's do it. Okay, first question. Best Halloween costume you've put together? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween has never been like on the top of my priority list, although I do find it fun. The only one that's really coming to my mind is when my best friend Lene and I growing up um, in third grade decided to dress up as baby hillbillies. So <laughs> we had like our onesies on and then like the fake hillbilly teeth, like almost <laughs> like dentures that we put in with our binkies and our blankets and uh, oh cowboy boots, I think. Yeah, it was. That's interesting. <laughs> It was really interesting. <laughs> okay. It was fun. <laughs> that sounds fun. Um, next question. What is your favorite animal? I'm not a huge fan of animals either, actually, believe it or not. Um, I think they're cute and I admire them from a distance usually. If I had to choose one it would probably be a dog. Okay, that's valid. Yeah. <laughs> um, this one is a little bit more serious, but still fun. Um, have you always wanted to be a teacher at Mount Baker? <laughs> um, no, actually, when I was a senior, um, I won most likely to come back and teach at Baker for a homecoming award. And I was like, yeah, right, you guys, like, what, what are you talking about? I'm never doing that. And then um, in college, I was all set up to go student teach in North Carolina. And I was ready to go just like get out and explore. Like, I love Washington and I love Whatcom County, but I was just ready to kind of see something new and meet new people and um, have some time. So I was ready to do that and then I got this opportunity and I was like, well, I'll just see where this goes. Like, let's try it. Um, like, it's not, it's a great opportunity and um, I have been pleasantly surprised and this is amazing and I love it here and I'm so glad that I work at Baker, so. Yeah, I think on behalf of everyone, we're glad that you work at Baker too. Thank you. Um. If you could travel back in time, what period would you choose and why? Wow, these are great questions. I'm impressed. <laughs> I would probably travel back to meet Helen Keller, like back in that era. Mm -hmm. um, and I would do that because my great uncle actually met her and um, she gave him an award because he discovered that babies who had too much oxygen, if they were premature, um, could go blind. And that's part of why Helen Keller was blind. And so I just think that meeting that meeting Helen Keller and like being a part of that time would be really cool to learn more about my family. So. So cool. Um, okay, what is your favorite food? Tacos. <laughs> Solid answer. <laughs> um, what is your favorite subject in school? Math, always. Um, I was a weird geek and loved math <laughs> so much. Matrices were like my favorite thing. And... <laughs> I don't know. I think it's something about like solving, you know, like figuring out something and feeling very fulfilled by figuring it out. <laughs> yeah, I've been talking to a lot of people recently, like in my math class, and I really enjoy math when I actually know what I'm doing. Like when I get everything right, it's great. Yeah. Yes. If we had, psych well, we have psychology. If we had psychology when I was in school, I would definitely say psychology because I love social, yeah. like learning about how people think and how people act is like really amazing to me. Yeah, I think it's really interesting too. Um, what do you like on your pizza? I like pretty much every food. <laughs> so 
I don't yeah. eat salad on my pizza like Paul does. Um, but I, at the North Fork, we get like, it's like a veggie pizza with sausage. So it has like bell pepper and spinach and onion and I can't remember what else. A bunch of other stuff <laughs> and then sausage. <laughs> And I usually eat it with no cheese, but sometimes I'll dabble and have a little cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely like an all the veggies person. Yeah. There's so there's not a bad pizza. I mean, okay. This is up for debate. Pineapple on pizza. Oh my goodness. My pride class every day is all about this debate. <laughs> every day we have this debate. Pineapple belongs on pizza. I'm sorry, Daniel Kapustin. I know you won't agree with me. <laughs> well, I agree with you. I think pineapple belongs on pizza in the right conditions. It's like a sweet, savory type thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's delicious. I think that that's just the conclusion forever is it does belong on pizza. Yep. And if you agree, email me because I want to know how many people in this school like pineapple on their pizza. <laughs> Um, okay, next question. Why did you want to become the ASB teacher? Well, um, I love making a difference and I love watching students kind of find their way and use what their gifts are and what they're passionate about to do something awesome um, in the community that they're in and it's just so fun like that's why I love that because you get to see like you get to help and foster these awesome students who are like passionate about making a difference and um, kind of just guide them in that direction but like let them take the lead and let them decide where we're going and we've seen like so much awesomeness in the last couple of years and I'm really excited and yeah, I just want to keep doing more of that. I love that. Um, what is the best piece of advice you were ever given? Um, wow. <laughs> I, ask, I ask this to my students all the time, actually. Um, I love this question. And I think the thing that's coming to my mind is... I really struggled with, in school, really struggled with like negative thoughts and mainly just like getting really stressed out about school and everything, just like overthinking things. And um, I read this book and it one of the quotes was like, you have a choice, like you know when you're getting to those negative thoughts and you're going to start spiraling and stressing out. And in that moment, like, to be more aware of what you're thinking and to try to shift it to a positive thought or a, or spin it in a positive way and still be okay to like feel bummed or stressed out. Like that's okay to feel that way, but it's not okay to like stay there. So I would say that's the best piece of advice. Yeah, I really like that idea of like, it's okay to have negative emotions, but knowing and understanding that versus staying in that negativity. I think that's really important to know. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Um, next question. What is your coffee order? I don't actually drink coffee, but I'm a big uh, chai tea latte girl. So that is with oat milk is oh. my preference. Nice. And if I go to Starbucks, no water. Mm -mm. <laughs> No water, oat milk, chai. Although Starbucks doesn't have oat milk. Well, that's so sad. I know. I always just get coconut milk. I like coconut milk too. Yeah. Okay. Um. What are, that was not a word. What are your top three pet peeves? Uh, bad communication. <laughs> um, when people smack their food. Mm -hmm. like chew with your mouth closed it's polite um and I think 
The third one would be like when somebody says they're going to do something and then they don't, that just really gets me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely frustrating. Yeah. But I've just learned to laugh about it this this year. (laughs) You You can't control anything. Just laugh about it. Yeah, I think that's a great solution. Yep, I I think it's good. Just laugh more. We need that. (laughs) Yes. What hobbies do you have? I love to play piano. I love painting. Um, Paul and I this summer got into renovating trailers. So we buy like old ones and uh, paint them and fix them up and put new floors in and then sell them. And it's just been, that's super fun. Um, I love gardening. I have a big garden in the summer and we're really excited for this year because we just moved and uh, we're like in the planning stages of what the garden's going to look like. So I love doing that. Um, I love building stuff with Paul too. Like we'll build random things and for our house or for friends and I don't know, just like ran. I don't really have like one hobby. I just like do a lot of different things depending on my mood I think that's great thanks um okay this is one of my favorite questions what is your favorite bread to use on your sandwiches that would be sourdough solid yeah I love it I don't think it needs much explanation sourdough is just superior it is we <laughs> should, it should be called superior sourdough yeah, I think so. Although I did try to make it this summer once. Like, you have to make, like, a starter, a sourdough starter. And I read this recipe. Oh, I, li- I love cooking, by the way. <laughs> um, there was this recipe about, like, you can make it with pineapple juice. And all you do is, like, put it in the, in the cabinet with, like, I can't remember what, a little bit of flour maybe. And then pineapple juice. And we did that. And it was not successful. So if anybody knows how to make it, like, for reals, I want to know about it. That sounds, it sounds like an experiment for sure. It was, it was, <laughs> it was an experiment. Yes. <laughs> um, who is your favorite musician? Uh, wow. I, it depends on my mood. I feel like that's how I, I kind of am with my hobbies. I am with my music. Like I love indie folk like rock music kind of and I also love like um I don't know just lots of different music it just depends on on my mood yeah I totally agree with that it just depends on the song too like I like songs more than I like full artists Mm -hmm. it it kind of changes for me if I find an artist that I really like Or if I find like one song by an artist, I will listen to all of their songs and I will memorize all of their albums. Yes. (laughs) Okay, this is our final question. Okay. What sports did you play as a high schooler? I played softball for a while. Um, I did track for a while remind me someday not now but (laughs) to tell you (laughs) about my javelin throwing experience um maybe I should tell it really quick okay so um I was used to playing softball where they train you to like put your hand behind your you know straight back and then cross over like like you have a sword in your pocket um and so I was used to doing that motion because I had played, been playing softball since I was in like third grade. And uh, <laughs> so I was ready to throw the javelin and I did the same thing. The problem with the javelin is that it's very long yeah. and quickly after I released it, it just banged on my head. Oh, no. It's just like vibrating in my hand from how hard I hit my head. I had a nice oh, goose egg on the side. <laughs> so if you play softball, I don't recommend javelin because <laughs> they don't go well together. Um, but yeah, and then I managed boys basketball and I also played golf with Mr. Lumbo for a couple years, a year. I don't know. I just like to do a lot of different things and try a lot of different things but I haven't like 
I wasn't like that one four year sport kind of girl. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that that is some great advice to end on. If you play softball, don't throw javelin. (laughs) Or just be really aware that they're very different. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Did you continue with javelin after that or was that the end? Mm, that was pretty much the end. Then I tried shop. <laughs> that was bad too. Oh, no. I'm just not very strong. So that was just not a strong state of mind. <laughs> um, what else did I do? I think I was, they needed somebody to run the mile and I did, but also not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> I was like, well, I'd rather just have fun than win competitions. So I'm going to be uh-huh. done with this and do something else. <laughs> But my family always taught me to, like, start the season, finish the season, and then if I didn't like it after that season was over, then I could move on. But to, like, finish out what you start, even though you might not like it. So Yeah, I think that's really good advice, too. Thanks. All right. All right. Well, Well, that is all of our questions. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. Thank you for interviewing me. It was fun.